Hi everyone and welcome back to the experiment What if Manchester United signed Brazil, Brazilian winger Malcolm from Bordeaux for 33 million pounds? Uh, today I have fast forwarded another three seasons into the future. If you haven't seen what happened in the first part of the experiment, please make sure to check out my uh, YouTube channel and see the first video. Now we're going to see what happened in the next three seasons. So the last time we, we uh, left things, we were in the end of season 2020-2021. Now if we go one year further, we see that uh, the last year Manchester City were the champions and then Manchester United were champions in season uh, 2022 by 93 points. So quite a big difference, 12 points to the next in line. And you can see who makes up the top four. You can see also the uh, relegation team. The big surprise here, however, is Tottenham at seventh place. This is a very, very good performance from the Hammers. Very good year for them, apparently. I want to quickly go through all of the uh, years and just see what happened. And then I'm going to focus on uh, Malcolm and Manchester United. So let's see what happened in year 23. Manchester City took the title a very strong season. Both teams with more than 90 points. So this was a very close battle until the very end, I'm afraid. But Manchester United lost out in the end by two points. And uh, let's just have a look. Leicester very strong in fifth place. Uh, West Ham again another seventh place. Tottenham have fallen out. Uh, to the 8th place and probably out of European competitions. And let's see what happened in the final season. Manchester City were champions again. So this is 5 times out of total 7 years. Manchester United finishing in 3rd place and Leicester and West Ham are out of the places giving access to the European competitions. So this is what happened in the Premier League in this experiment. Let me just quickly see the awards and uh, maybe we can uh, check what happened. So. Player of the year, we can see that we started here with Mesut Ozil winning the first award, Sanchez, Mata, Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva and Kevin De Bruyne another two times. So you can see that the Manchester City players are dominating this award through the years. In the other awards, let's see, manager of the year. This award is being dominated by Guardiola and Mourinho. Not surprisingly, Guardiola is winning more because well, Manchester City are champions more times than anybody else. Player of the year, not a big surprise, the same names here. We went through this already. Team of the year, we are not really looking for that. Young player of the year, let's see here what is happening. Harry Kane in the first year, Bernardo Silva from City, Julian Brandt. So this is the transfer from Manchester United, but not the one we were looking for. Very interesting turn of events. And then we see Facundo Lee. Who is that? Ia. So this is a new regen player. 24-year-old Argentinian attacking midfielder, wonderful. Next, let's have a look at uh, Manchester United themselves and Malcolm. So let me just find him. He's already playing at Chelsea, so Manchester United have sold him for half the price. So he was, he is now a confirmed flop. He is still a young player. You see, 27 years old, so he is right now in his best years, in his pump. But United have decided to part ways. He's having a good average rating overall, but in the last season he has played very, very few games. I'm not sure why. You can see in the league he has not played a lot, although he has played a lot of non-competitive games. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe somebody can explain in the comments if they know, but apparently Malcolm did not succeed and did not become a mainstay in the Manchester United first team squad. If we look at United themselves, let's have a look. Mourinho is still the manager, Pogba is captain. Teo Fernandez, they have bought Teo Fernandez from Real Madrid. Let's see which year was that. Okay, 2021 for 16 million. So he was probably a big hit, valued at 55 million now. So he is a big hit at United. And he is only 26 years old, so this is a very good transfer. He is vice captain. The key player is Pogba, which is not a big surprise. If we look at the tactic screen, Lukaku is finally the main striker. An Angel Gomes is the number 10, so this is this is a really nice turn of events. I was expecting for him not to make it, but actually he returned from loan and then apparently he managed to put himself in the first team. Alex Iwobi from Arsenal has been transferred. Let's see what, how this went for $58 million, uh, but he went through Sevilla in Spain where he spent three years. Very interesting turn of events for Alex Iwobi. He's playing quite well for United. You can see 7.21 average rating, 5 goals, 3 assists out of 30 games. So a good return from the uh, from the young Arsenal player. Pierre-Emil Hoiberg is now the new partner of uh, uh, Paul Pogba in the middle of the of the field. And Felipe Anderson has been brought probably from Lazio. I'm not sure. Let's see. 
No, he went, he went through Bayern Munich, so Bayern Munich and then Manchester United for astonishing 82 million pounds. Manchester United are having a, a almost entirely new team. Thiago Maia is in the middle of the defense with Lindelof. Odrio Zola, I'm not sure who that is, 28 years old Spanish player. He was bought from Atletico Bilbao, but in reality he came from Real Sociedad through PSG, then Bilbao and then Manchester United. So quite the journey. And before I forget, just a quick look at Pietro Pe Pe Pellegri, which was a young player that United bought in the very first season for 8 million from Genoa. You can see that he went on to have a fantastic career at Old Trafford. In the last season, he has an average rating of 7.5 with 4 goals scored, 9 in total in all competitions. And if you look at his stats, you can see that he's a very strong all-around striker. He's also capable uh, to play on the wings. So not bad at all. De Gea is still uh, in, in go, and uh, we have quite a lot of transfers. I'm not going to focus that much on that. So right now, I just want to see how things went in the European competition. Last time we left off in the Europa League, Lyon took the title with a win 3-1 against Leverkusen in the final. The next year, Chelsea beat Liverpool in an all-English final, and Chelsea went to the final by beating Napoli in the semis, Bilbao in the quarters, and Tottenham in the second knockout round. So Chelsea managed to eliminate two English teams until they reached the final stage and took the title home. In the next year, West Ham, another English team, bought, uh, won against Lazio 2-0. This is a big surprise to me. West Ham, who were seventh place a couple of seasons in England, managed to win, to win a European competition. This is a great, great achievement for them. Let me just check who is their manager. Paul Heckingbottom. I'm not sure who that is. I'm not really familiar with the name, but good for him. Good for West Ham and their success. And let's see what happened in the last season. Oh, this is still not yet played, so let me just quickly fast forward until that moment and we'll see what happens. And we're back on the 2nd of June. Now all European competitions have ended and we can see that in the last season Tottenham won the Europa League. So a total English dominance here. They won 3-2 against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Tottenham also defeated Milan in the semis, Napoli in the quarters and Inter in the second knockout round. So they were on a row beating three Italian teams. Very interesting turn of events. Now let's, let's turn our focus to the Champions League. We left, we left off with the second title for Bayern Munich in, in two years. So they went, they were the winners of uh, Champions League 2020 and 2021. In 2022, they lost the final to Manchester City. So they had the chance to actually make a treble of successive Champions League titles, but they didn't manage to do that. Manchester City, on the other hand, eliminated their neighbors, Man United, 4-3 in the semis. And they also beat PSG in the quarters and CSK Moscow in the first knockout round. So that was a very interesting year, apparently. In the next season, PSG were the champions, defeating Real Madrid in the finals 2-0. Uh, after also eliminating Arsenal in the semis, Monaco, their, uh, their uh, local rivals in France. And Juventus in the first knockout round. In the very last season, right now, Barcelona defeated Manchester City on penalties 2-2. We also see that Barcelona beat Monaco, Bayern Munich and Roma in their way to the final, while Manchester City defeated Liverpool on penalties, Manchester United and Sevilla on, on their way to the final stage. This game was played in Amsterdam Arena, so now let's just have a look at uh, some, uh, some awards. So I'm just going to type in Ballon d'Or, so let's see who won that award for the last couple of years. Eden Hazard. Denis Suarez and Gabriel Jesus were the winners. Gabriel Jesus is now playing for Monaco. This is very interesting. Let's have a quick look. He was transferred for 101 million pounds. This is one of the biggest transfer fees I have seen paid in the uh, football manager game ever. So apparently he is quite successive though. An average rating of 7.9 is truly astonishing. If we also have a quick look at Player of the Year awards, we can see that uh, Neymar, Denis Suarez and Eden Hazard have won the last three. Let's see Denis Suarez. I'm very, very interested to understand how has he become so good. This is so far off reality. I would never expect Denis Suarez to become uh, such a great player that he is in the top three of uh, Player of the Year or the Ballon d'Or awards. So let's he, uh, let's see valued at 60 million. Let's he, uh, see his performance over the years. Average rating above seven every year and the last and in, in three seasons you see he had more than 7.4 which is amazing stats, stats for a player like him I would never expect him to be such a bright shining star
And with that, I think we can conclude our experiment. Apparently, Malcolm's transfer to Manchester United did not turn out as some would have expected for him to light up the stage at Old Trafford and become a huge worldwide star. Instead, he was transferred to Chelsea for a fee that is almost half of what United were expected to pay for him in January 2018. So, let me know what experiment you would like me to make next. Subscribe to my channel and see you the next time, guys. Bye!